Just because something is high tech doesn't mean it's good UX, but I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference. So first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Emma. I am a user interface designer with a passion for automotive UX. I've recently gotten into car reviews for fun. And if you're like me, you've been noticing that a lot of these cars have been getting a lot of tech on them. Honestly, if you ask me, they've been feeling less like cars and more like phones. Just because it has more features on it doesn't mean it's more enjoyable to use or helps enhance the driving experience. So a UX or UI designer's job is to make things more usable, right? So if you're trying to improve an existing product, which we are, you can do what's called a heuristic evaluation. And my tried and true personal favorite is the Nielsen Norman Group's 10 usability heuristics. Whether you're brand new to UX or you are a total UX expert, the Nielsen Norman Group is one of the go-to hubs for anything usability related. And with their 10 usability heuristics specifically, that is my tried and true go-to checklist for these things. So there's 10 different pillars that go into this checklist. So in this series, we'll go over each of those 10 pillars and what that means specifically for car design. Make sure you hit like and follow so you can stay in the loop with all the different ways to improve the driving experience.